And uh, we move on uh, to the next presentation right away from Lucia Vanek Xavier, uh, who is a private member of the Reed Co-op. Ah, thank you. Uh, I am Lucia Vanek Xavier. I'm a private member of uh, Transcribos, and I present like this. I can't stay behind this. I feel too. I like to move around. I made a very simple presentation because it's an idea I had a couple of uh, months ago, and it's to work in a general, uh, this large core, big models, huge ambitions, building Portuguese models for two important uh, document collections. I'm working uh, for myself in a completely volunteer project for transcribing the Inquisition documentation. We started in 16, in 2019, the year before the virus, and we are still working on it, but it's all volunteer. Even me as a coordinator is also a volunteer. And the second collection is the notary books of colonial Brazil, specifically colonial Salvador da Bahia, that's the capital, was then the capital city of colonial Brazil. Uh, why do we need a general model in Portuguese? For simple, the inquisitorial documentation has professional scriptors and private scriptors as well. Uh, but it's not everything. It's a huge number of uh, professional scriptors, but still it's not so large that a um, general model. The, Bahia notarial books, only professional scriptors. So a general model combining these two collections will help, uh, well, we hope it will help uh, attend more people with different collections. And we know that in the Portuguese archive, Torre do Tombo, there are several collections that are only private scriptors. That's why we thought about this general model combining these two documentation. So what's the ground truth we have so far? So I have printed material like this one. I used in a, in a model for printed for the second half of the 17th century. Then I have this beauty here. It's a um, Bahia Notary Book Damaged, and I have that beauty over there, that's an Inquisition document, and everything in between, it's in the model. So that's not even the worst damage, there is much worse, but in this ground truth, we have that one, so from this and everything you can imagine in between, we have even some pages that are printed and handwritten. And what did I get for this presentation? The models, uh, one Pilaya, it got eight, a CR of 8.5, which I consider an excellent result. And the validation set came out 3.8. I was very happy with that. And the City Lab Plus, it's a slightly different. It came out both uh, 12, 13 percent. I don't know why this difference. I asked the people from, I asked the staff from Transcribo, so I will post also in Slack because I pers personally don't understand why it came out that way. So that's it from my part. Thank you. Obrigada, bedankt. And that's my email address. It's just I would like to point out this I'm doing for fun because I am not specialized in Portuguese paleography. Even though I am Brazilian, my specialty is Dutch paleography. So I count not so much for this project, especially for the paleographer the challenges and standards from transcriptions. They are not mine, unfortunately. But we all have our specialities. Thank you. Ah, yeah. Just put it there.